that um, sometimes it's hard for us. Uh, the ABBA new system is still working out some of the kinks and stuff. So sometimes getting all the owners is a little difficult. So we just updated our uh, ABBA International Brahmin Show, Gray Get of Sire. And that was JDH Turkana Manso 607 over six. Uh, that all was correct. And he is owned by JD Hudgens, the Jay Ferguson division, but he also is co-owned with Heritage Cattle. That is why we had um, Team Heritage on the stick there showing some of uh, um, all of those progeny so congratulations again uh, if anybody sees anything wrong on any of our Facebook posts where we maybe don't have the multiple owned and stuff you just need to let us know so that we can fix that and again we are in class 15 this is going to be the first class of the junior division first class of the junior division today in the gray female show Just have to say a huge shout out to my uh, team. I just have um, a great team that I really appreciate all that they do. Uh, we have Iran in Mexico staying on uh, to listen and make sure that if we need anything, here we go. I didn't get them yet. Okay. Oh, wow. Two pets. Oh, my gosh. England Cow Company. <laughs> We're going to have Mike England come and talk to us uh, either later today or tomorrow. And he's going to tell us about his sale. And they just brought me some coffee. And so I am, like, super, super happy. Thank you very much but England Cattle Company they're gonna have a sale when's your sale date May 22nd I think is what Mike told me so um, RGB Rio Grande Valley has gonna have their open Brahmin show you're gonna be able to go to the open Brahmin show go to England and see the cattle there at the ranch and then come back the following week or bid online the following week because they're gonna have a rock star sale and they are gonna have um, a couple of pages in the magazine next month talking about their sales, so we're super excited. Thank you. Okay, sorry guys, this is now class number 16, and I'm gonna tell you who won what. I was just so excited about the coffee, I just got like a little, I got a little excited there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, this is going to be class 16 walking in, but I'm going to give you some stats and some info. Uh, in first place was in uh, class number 15 was number nine. This was going to be the BR Cotrer entry. BR Cotrer, this is going to be Miss V8117 over nine. She's going to be a Mr. V8380 over six daughter out of JDH Lady Elmo Manso. So congratulations to the Cotreras, B.R. Cotreras on the win of that last class. And then who was second, um, Ms. Brandon? Uh, 687 was second, 687, which is going to be Miss LPC. That's going to be Little Pecan Cattle, uh, LPC uh, 101. And that's going to be a Mr. V8374 over seven daughter out of Miss V8545 over eight, and she is a polled female. Um, and that was, of course, shown by Brand Brandy showed that one, correct? Brandy was on the stick, or was it Tammy? Was it Tammy? Was it Grace? 
We're not really sure. We'll have to look back on the photos. It might have been Grace. Okay, maybe Grace has grown taller. Uh, Miss LPC 101 was second in that last class. So congratulations, guys. Little Pecan Cattle, they do a great job in their breeding program. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can see a few more head here. Let's see if we can give you a couple of different angles. Ooh, sorry, got a little too crazy there. There we go. And there we go. That is class number 16. Hey, Andrew, glad you guys are watching. Amanda's watching. We have all kinds of people watching. Thank you guys for watching.
Yes, I know I stepped away, guys. I was giving out some magazines. Sorry. I know, I didn't move the camera. Probably should have. And Virginia, if you're watching, your husband said, he said, you need to write that down so I can tell Virginia how to watch this in Aruba. And I told him, I said, she's watching. I already told her. So hello, Mauricio from Bucaramanga, Colombia. I love to say Bucaramanga. And I really enjoyed my time in Bucaramanga. I think it's just because I really like saying Bucaramanga. It's like really fun to say. It's got like a lot of R's and it's like, it just sounds fun, does it not? Yeah. We all think that Bucaramanga sounds like a fun place to be. So hopefully we'll, we'll be back there soon. So it looks like we're walking again and we have a Hudgens, we have Stewart, Abel's with a V8 females. Let's see. Who else do we have left in there? Sorry, guys. Looking over the top of these cattle, seeing if I can get you a better shot. Not 100% sure. Maybe this will be a better angle for you guys. Okay, so on the rail, we have the Hudgens female and we have the Stuart Watkins. Um, I'm guessing that's one of his that he is got in his hand. So we will have to, oof, I, I can't even get across all these cattle guys, so I have no angle to get to you guys. So. I'll just tell you about it. It looks really good. We've got a Hudgens female over there and the judge is thinking. And we have Stuart Watkins. He has his game face on. Okay, so he went with the Hudgens female. That's going to be entry number 369. Entry number 369 uh, is going to win that class. And then who was his who was Stewart leading? Was it? One, five, three? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Riley Romero. That, that's why I missed it. Okay. 
so guys, in class number 16, our winner was, went to JDH Lady Liberty Manso 162. That's going to be a JDH Mr. Amos Manso daughter out of JDH Miss Felicia Manso 476 over 8. And in second, we had the Miss WCC Marley 340 over 9. She is going to be a Watkins Cattle Company branded female, but show, owned by Riley Romero. We had Stuart Watkins on the stick there. That's a great female. And she is going to be a Mr. V8 670 over 6 daughter out of SRS Miss Red Leah. So congratulations to those uh, owners and show people. And that was class 16. We're getting ready to come back in with class 17. Class 17. This will be the last class before the junior division, correct? Okay. Big, big class. Oh, oh Lord. Okay, we have a punch. Okay, I'm getting all my cheat sheets and stickies ready for uh, when I have to give you guys some information once we get back to that championship. So we had class 15, again, was Miss V8117 over 9, uh, owned by B.R. Contreras. So we had B.R. Contreras in there. Um, we'll be coming back in for championship consideration. Reserve championship consideration will be the Little Pecan, Miss LPC 101. Then coming in for championship consideration later will be um, out of class 16. We're going to have JDH Lady Liberty Manso 162. That was that Amos daughter that we just talked about. And in second we had the Miss WCC Marley 340 over 9. Hard fought class there. And Stuart Watkins was on the stick for Riley Romero. Daryl Duhong, glad to see you joining us. Manuel Amperon, hey Manuel, we are going to remind everybody, since Manuel's on the, on the screen with us, Manuel can probably tell you guys a little bit about this bull right here. This is Mr. V8520 over seven. There is semen available, foreign and domestic. Our good friend at San Jose, Ganaderia San Jose, Marco Barba, he owns this bull, and you can visit with Manuel Amperon of Service Semen Texas to buy semen on this bull. And uh, he has had some tremendous progeny. The Pompeo bull, and also he had the grand champion, I believe, reserve grand champion female there in uh, Tampico. And then when I was in Tuxa Gutierrez, Pompeo was the uh, national grand champion. So Manuel Amperon is uh, on and he's uh, kind of texting and talking to us in the comments. So Manuel, thank you for being supportive of the Brahmin Journal. We are back in here with class number 17. Class number 17, and it's a great big class. So we're going to try to give you guys a couple of good views here. Try to get a couple of different angles prepared for you since we're going to have a lot of cattle. So again, we are going to talk about some of the stuff we have going on and some of the people we have to thank for being so supportive of us here. ST Genetics and HK Cattle, they're going to have their third annual spring sale with the Brahmin Journal on best cattle sales. That's going to be March 31st and April 1st. Then we were just talking about our friend Manuel Amperon, 
uh, who uh, you can talk to about semen on this beautiful bull. This is Mr. V8520 over 7, and his genetics are available in the United States. Then we have Genetic Costa Rica. Genetic Costa Rica, shipping and distribution of semen and embryos to Costa Rica. That's going to be Bullseye, V8, J.D. Hudgens, Santa Elena, and of course, B.R. Cotrer. Then we have some live and online auctions that we're going to be doing on Best Cattle Sales. One of those is going to be in July. We have to say thanks to Southern Bell's sale. That's our friend, uh, good friend Tyler Cohen at Bogachito. He is going to be having a sale with us in July. And also Brahmin Selecta will have just a straight up online sale uh, in in July also. We're not real sure when the Southern Bell sale will be, but it'll be a live and online sale, so a one that you can attend in person. And then uh, in June, we have the Carolina Brahmin Breeders Association sale. We were there last year, and we really had a great time at that sale. Um, we did it uh, live and online, and that was their 40th anniversary, so we really enjoyed doing that sale. We'll be back there in Lawrence, South Carolina, with our good friend Philip Gilstrap. Uh, and then on uh, in May, May 1st, we have that Southern Classic sale in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We have May 2nd through 3rd. We have the Breed to Succeed sale, which will benefit the AJBA. And then May uh, 15 and 16, we have the Burt Clem and Butler Farms Something Special uh, Cebu online sale on bestcattlesales.com. So make sure you guys visit bestcattlesales.com to see all the sales we have coming up. Again, that May 1st sale, that Southern Classic. Uh, registered Brahmin and F1 sale in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We will be there taking your bids online and live. And then um, in April, we have a couple sales too. We have the 4T, uh, I'm sorry, we have the AT Brahmin sale. We have that AT Brahmin sale um, as well as the Schulte Cattle Company sale as well as the heritage sale. So we have those three sales coming up. So again, that's gonna be April 18 and 19. Needed to put my glasses on, didn't I? Uh, that's the AT Brahmins Fallborn Prospect Sale. AT Brahmins is here showing, and so you can visit with them about their sale. We also have Schulte Cattle Company. You've seen Schulte showing really well here also. Fall Prospect and Genetic Opportunities Sale. They had a sale with us in September this year and they really enjoyed it. And then we have the Heritage Cattle Company Spring Online Brahmin Production Sale. Remember, what you do is you go, you bid, you bid, you bid. And uh, the more you bid, the better you're going to have as far as your appointment decision. And you can kind of decide what time would be best for you for your appointments. It makes it a little easier on you. So don't forget that Heritage Sale. April 22nd. It's a one-day sale. There's a few lots online and then they'll come back with their private sale where you can get an appointment with Judd, visit, look at all the cattle, and make your choices. Then we also have April 4th and 5th. We have the two brands unlimited possibility sale. That's going to be the 4N Ranch and also the IS Ranch. Um, we already have a lot of those lots up online. They're going to be doing video uh, after they get back from this show. The cattle are actually here. So if anybody's here and would like to go see the cattle that are going to be being sold in that sale, you can go by the IS Ranch beds and visit with them. Um, Too Fast Nichols Bull and Heifer Sale. Really excited about um, uh, Kenneth having his sale with us that's the two fast nickels it's going to be a full blood fleck bees purebred simital and simbra and that sale is going to be april 5 and 6 and then april 9 and 10 we have 4t and box r their fourth annual family traditions f1 and brahmin online sale and we have some uh, cattle that we've already taken photos and video of and they look really good guys you can go online and you can see 
Most of the lots, I think, were still um, have a couple of 4T lots that we're going to be uh, working on. And then, of course, uh, we were talking with Adeline about that March um, sale that she's going to have with ST Genetics. So we have ST Genetics and HK Cattle, and ST Genetics is going to be the sale manager. So you can certainly visit with them, and they can give you more information, and they can help you on sale day even. And then we see in the arena, I saw in the arena, some Bullseye Ranch uh, branded uh, heifers. And we're not going to let you forget about the spring heifer sale, April 14 through 15, Bullseye Ranch. Expect the best. Also want to remind you about the Breeders Bonanza Spring Sale. They're offering a special shows prospect uh, incentive. Uh, we were thinking that Chase was going to be with me today, but he got really busy getting ready for that sale. So he did not have time to come visit, but that's a really cool program. We can explain more to you or just visit with Chase. Magic Ranch, they've had some good showing here. Uh, they have some beautiful cattle. They are here in the barns. You just need to go on down, kind of walk your way down towards the back barns, and they will be on the left-hand side. So go visit with Magic Ranch while you are here. And then we also have the uh, joining forces to bring you the whole package. That's going to be Chance Hinton and Kaysen Fitzpatrick. That's going to be Hinton Cosmetic Dehorning and Fitzpatrick Cattle Services. So if you need some help, those are some good guys to do some business with. Definitely have a lot to say about them. They're, they're good guys. And then um, don't forget that the Wolf Livestock, uh, they have a consignment in that spring fever sale, spring fever sale, which is March 31st and April 1st on Cattle in Motion. Um, and this particular female that is going to be a 120 day pregnant recip sold um, out of this female. And she is a two time international champion female. So make sure you look at what can be offered there. And that is going to be the Wolf Livestock Consignment. And that's going to be in the Spring Fever online sale on Cattle in Motion. Again, want to say thank you to Chris Shivers for um, having the polled bull from Australia. Uh, he is selling semen on that bull. He's helping them. And so if you are interested in semen on that bull, you can certainly visit with Mr. Chris of Infinity. All right, we are down to the top three. And again, guys, I am sorry we are kind of blocked and we cannot see the cattle across the arena because we have so many cattle in the pen. So we'll try to see if they can maybe move them down next time a little bit. But we have a V8 ranch. It looks like we have a V8 ranch. It looks like we have Michael Curry. And then it looks like we have in the third That's okay, we'll keep going. Okay, um, in first, what was the first one? I know it was VA. Was it 62 over nine? Yeah. So it was 745, right? Okay, so 745 won that class. That was class 17. And we're gonna come back in with the 
championship drive next. So class 17 was going to be a Miss V862 over 9. It's going to be a V8 ranch entry, and that's going to be a Mr. V8 458 over 7, which is going to be a noble daughter out of Miss V8 293 over 8. And in second, we had Miss V8 49 over 9, which is going to be the Michael Curry entry, and that's going to also be a noble daughter out of Miss V8 829 over 6. So congratulations to V8 Ranch on their first. Congratulations to the group that owns Noble, which is going to be, um, of course, uh, Rachel and Brandon Cotrer, Sam Sparks of SRS, and John Coleman Locke. So congratulations. They just uh, bred those. Number one, number two. So again, that was class number 17. We're getting ready to go into the junior division drive. Junior division drive. Then we're going to go to the seniors and then we're going to go party. Oh no, we're not. We're going to work hard tonight and get a bunch of photos up because I have a bunch of photos that the lovely Brandolin took and we will be putting those up online. Uh, I don't think we're offering them for sale, but we're certainly offering you guys to look at them. If you'd like us to share any on Facebook, you just need to message us because we're going to have some cool photos. Okay, so class number class number 15 winner right here in front of me. This is going to be Miss V8117 over 9. This is a BR Contrer entry. And if we can get the lovely Brandolin to move just a little bit, then we're going to get... Um, in there we go and in uh, our second class which was class 16 we have JDH Lady Liberty Manso 162 that's going to be an entry of JD Hudgens that's going to be a JDH Mr. Amos Manso daughter out of JDH Miss Felicia Manso and then in that next class class 17 we had the V8 ranch entry that was Miss V862 over 9 and that is going to be a noble daughter so congratulations to the breeders we have some great cattle showing thank you guys so much hey judy curry congratulations so um, good job everyone we're working our way through all these cattle we're here in the arena with our judge jacob tip who has done a tremendous job and let's see what he says It looks like he is getting ready to go and make a choice. And he is going to the B.R. Cotrer entry. B.R. Cotrer. So coming in for reserve consideration. Out of that, oh, he already picked his reserve, and it's going to be a J.D. Hudgens. So we went champion was B.R. Cotrer out of that first class, which is going to be class number 15 winner. And then um, in our reserve champion is going to be the JDH uh, Liberty female, JDH Lady Liberty Manso, and she's going to be our reserve champion. So our reserve champion is going to be 369, and our champion was number nine. Number nine was our champion. So congratulations. We'll be seeing all those guys back for the uh, senior. No, I'm sorry for the Grand Champion drive here shortly. We're getting ready to go into the seniors. We're gonna just keep running along, guys. So we're getting ready to move into class number 20. Am I correct? Class number 20. So. Class number 20, coming in the ring.
Not big classes, small classes. Okay. Okay, well, it's a add on. Okay. 198 is is Broussard. Okay. Do we have an ABBA number by any chance? Okay, no problem, no problem. Have any idea? Do we have any other info? Okay. We are on class 21, whoops, not 20, gotta fix that. We are on class 21, class 21. We're gonna get the information on that last class. Do we know who was second? Because it was the Broussard cattle and we don't know exactly which animal that was, so we're gonna find out. They went in that order, so it was PCC 104 over 9, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So uh, 825 was the back number, correct? Yes. Okay. So in second place in that class, we had PCC uh, 104 over 9, which was um, going to be a Mr. H. Bogota Manso 253 over 1 out of JDH Lady Rosetta Manso 460. 463 over zero, and that was going to be an Alexander Quintanilla breeder, exhibitor, and owner. Woohoo! So, if anybody knows the class winner of that last class, if you can give us any information, so that would be great. It was a uh, Broussard Cattle Company, and we would love to know who won that class. Give us an ABBA number or a cow name. That would be super helpful. Okay, we are in class 21, then we have class 22, 23, and 
and then we will do the senior. Thank you guys so much for watching from all around the world. We really do appreciate it. We will be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. with the Red Bull Show. Red Bull Show at 10 a.m. tomorrow, guys. Red Bull Show at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, and then it was down to one, two, three, four, five. So we have Okay, in first place we're going to have Miss B.E.R. Winona 598. This is going to be a whiskey daughter out of J.D.H. Godot Manso 130 over zero. And this is going to be exhibited by Brandy Barnes Watch Ranch for Blaine Black. Of course, the breeder is Charlotte Smith of Bullseye Ranch, Bullseye Ranch branded. And then in second place, we had entry number 400. 400 is going to be Lady Frost, 1 over 8. This is going to be a Mr. B8976 over 7 daughter out of Miss CBR610 over 6. Um, and this is going to be Cash Abel's is the exhibitor and the owner. Breeder is Frost Farms. So congratulations to the breeders, the owners, and the exhibitors of these really beautiful senior uh, gray females. So again, we are shouting out to anybody, if anybody knows who won the class number 20, class number 20, the Broussard female. Where's a Broussard family member? Are they not watching? Okay, we're getting ready to come back in with class number 22.
Okay, we are on the hunt. We are on the hunt and we have some Louisiana people trying to help us with the whole Broussard thing. We're gonna find out who that is. And I have coffee. I am happy. You could tell by the Go Vicky moment. You liked my dance? Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do it in front of the camera. It'd be like, ooh, not pretty. Though we could get a lot of views, it could go viral because it's like so bad. I am the Brahmin influencer. Someone told me the other day, you are the Brahmin influencer. I'm like, good to know. Oh, that'd be a TikTok moment. Yeah, no. Oh, there you go. No. Mm -mm. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. I don't even know what TikTok is. It's like they dance, they do something. No, I, I'm big on the Brahmin influencer thing. I can talk pedigrees. I can find out information from people. You could be the TikTok girl. Yeah, yeah. Brandolin can be the TikTok girl. What do y'all think? Let us know on Facebook. Oh, we already got a message from Brazil. They're thinking yes. <laughs> Yes, you can do TikTok. That is what Iran told me. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you, Iran. I'm thinking you can do the TikTok. Oh, and you go, girl. We got some. You go, girl. You can go TikTok. You. Yeah, I know you. I think somebody from Thailand in Thai wrote that we could TikTok. I'm not sure, but I think so. Yeah, this is getting bad. Sorry, guys. All I know is we would like the Broussard, the lovely Broussard girl, to let us know who you were showing. How are you? I'm good. Looking good, girl. Oh, someone got tired and laid down. Like permanently. Oops, no. Nope, nope, there we go. You know, when you're little, you need to have a break. Okay, we just found out. It was, I thought, who did I say was shown? I said it was Lily Pearl. Did I not? It was Lily Pearl. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. We thought it was Lily Pearl, and we thought it was you guys, but we just wanted to make sure. Big Ridge, Lily Pearl. I like to say Lily Pearl. I mean, what a beautiful name for a cow. Lily Pearl. It was Lily Pearl. I was right. Ha! Ah, yes! Thank you very much. Big Ridge, Lily Pearl. So excited. Congratulations, Lily Pearl, and yeah, everybody. It was Lily Pearl. Oh, Lily Pearl. It was Lily Pearl. I just got a message. Big Ridge. Yep. Thank you. I, I was so excited. Thank you. Thank you very much. We had someone tell us, and I thought it was Lily Pearl, but we didn't want to say it was Lily Pearl if it wasn't. And you know how much I like to say Lily Pearl. All right. Thank okay. You. Well, thank you. Congratulations. She looked beautiful. Okay. We'll see her back in the drive. All right. Yay. Lily Pearl. Thank you. Daddy Bruce Orr. Yeah, I just kept saying it till someone, class 20 was run by, and I'm like, thank you. But the thing that made my day is I was right, it was Lily Pearl. I recognized her. You know, it's harder for me when it's just a number, but when they have a fun name, I'm like, I can, I, that's easier for me. So when someone tells me like, oh, you know, cow 147, and I'm like, but if they said Lily Pearl, I'd be all over that. So, okay, back to this class. I'm sorry, guys, got all excited about Lily Pearl because I am a huge fan of Lily Pearl. And of course, Mary Reese Broussard. Okay, this is class number 22. I believe 
it is going to be, let's see, and then we will have class 23. Okay, we're moving up. Looks like we're going to have uh, V8 Ranch, Jim Williams, there on the stick. Okay guys, this is an add-on also. This is going to be Miss V8 898 over 8. Miss V8 898 over 8 uh, it is owned by V8 Ranch. Uh, the breeder is Sloan Williams. Um, I do not have the breeding on it. Sorry about that guys, but we will get that. Uh, Miss V8 898 over 8. And uh, I'm not sure, Adeline, we're going to find out on the Lily Pearl. I just know I love Lily Pearl. So we will get all the data on Lily Pearl. And then in second, who did we have in second in that class? 992? 992? 992? Class 22. Oh, I'm sorry, 994. 994. I was like, I don't have that. Okay, okay. All right, that was second. And that was going to be a Moreno Miss Lady Vivian. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to back up here a little bit and I'm going to get some information. I'm going to ask Iran. Iran, can you get me the information on Miss Lily Pearl, Fig Ridge? So if you can get me all the information on Miss Lily Pearl, so I have that. And then I also need all the information, Mr. Iran, on. A V8, Miss V8, 898 over 8. And I might actually be able to look up some of that. So, because I have a computer, I have uh, all kinds of stuff. I know for a fact this beautiful uh, cow that's coming in right here uh, she has a full sibling for sale on the uh, box R sale and I just love this box R cow she I just think is absolutely gorgeous really pretty and I saw her full sibling and she is very pretty too okay so Miss Lily Pearl Miss Lily Pearl is a Bogota daughter out of Miss J and M Sexata, six, seven, eight, over four. So uh, Miss Lily Pearl is a, a Bogota daughter and Adeline knows her stuff. So there you go. I recognize Lily Pearl and she knew it was a Bogota daughter and out of a J M Sexata. So, Alrighty, we have that. Oh, let me move around. Sorry, guys. This is class 23, am I right? I got the wrong class number on here. Class 23. At the end of the day, we get a little tired. We start forgetting things. And, you know, then I, like, I was without coffee for about two hours. So I'm going to blame it on that.
Okay, and then the V8 cow that won with um, Jim Williams on the stick, that was going to be Miss V8 898. Uh, that is going to be a uh, noble daughter, Mr. V8 uh, 458 over 7, out of Miss V8 138 over 7. So I have that information just in case we need it. Because they will be coming back for senior drive. This is our last class of gray females. Then we'll go into senior drive, and then we will go into the um, grand champion. Again, if you like this cow right in front of us, which I personally do, I think she's just very beautiful. <coughs> she has a full sibling for sale. Um, at uh, the Box R40 Family Tradition Sale that will be online, best cattle sales. Um, hey, thank you, Danny, so much. I'm so sorry you guys couldn't be here. Um, that is just uh, very sad that Danny missed being able to be with us, but hey, um, sometimes traveling can get difficult, so we're just glad everybody's okay. Danny Emil, he came up positive, I think, for COVID, but he was asymptomatic. So he wasn't feeling bad, didn't have any problems, but he just couldn't travel to the United States. So there we go. And we have our class winner here. Okay, so that's going to be the BR Contrera entry, correct? That's going to be number uh, eight. That is uh, Miss V8805 over eight. And that is going to be a 380 daughter out of Miss V8775 over seven. So that was the BR Contrera entry. Are you missing a pen? I didn't steal it. In a pocket? And in second, who did we have in second? Maybe 939. Yeah, there is. It's Magic Khaleesi. No? Who was second? Oh, okay, okay. That was a, I have a, I have a, I have a written on. It's um, Holden Jefferson, FL Cattle, and it's going to be Miss V8791 over 8, and we do have a registration number of 967925. So we are getting ready to do our senior championship. Our senior champion, guys, we're winding up our day here. Uh, it's been a good day. We're really excited about everything we did today, Every all the cattle we saw. I'm super excited. We are in our senior championship drive. So we are going to see coming back in for this senior championship drive, senior champion drive, um, from class... 21, we're going to see Miss B.E.R. Winona 598. That's going to be shown by Watch Ranch for Blaine Lake. I'm sorry, Blaine Black. That's going to be a whiskey daughter out of J.D.H. Godot Manso, who I believe is the dam of Trump, if I'm correct. I think um, that good old cow was um, the dam of Trump, but uh, I bet you Charlotte could correct me on that one. And then in uh, out of I'm sorry, we're gonna do class 20 first. Class 20 is gonna be Lily Pearl. We just love Lily Pearl, she just looks beautiful. There she is, Lily Pearl. I'm a fan, I'm a fan girl for Lily Pearl. Look, I mean, look at that. That's a Lily Pearl move, get that Lily Pearl photo. 
There you go. Lily Pearl, come on. There you go. Okay, sorry. I'm all excited about Lily Pearl just because I like saying the name. Super fond of the family. Okay, and then in, in, in second, we had um, the Miss B-E-R Winona 598. Again, a beautiful cow. They're all just beautiful. Um, and Winona, it's always fun to say Winona. And this is going to be bred by Charlotte Smith, Bullseye Ranch. Blaine Black is the owner and Watts Ranch. That is Brandy Barnes on the stick. And then we move down to our third class where we had our V8 Ranch entry right there. There we go. Um, and that is going to be, uh, we just talked about that. That is going to be the Miss V8 898. And then we have the BR Catrayer, BR Catrayer, out of that oldest class. There you go. Those are our champions coming in for the drive. Looks like he's walking down. Let's see where he's going. Our senior champion is going to be B.R. Cotrer. And we have V8 Ranch is the reserve senior champion. Congratulations. In our mind, they're all champions. They're just beautiful Brahmin cattle. So again, we are going to have, I know, I agree, Gustavo, the Lily Pearl. I just, she takes my breath away. She's just so pretty. Um, anyway, and that is a Bogota daughter, so congratulations. Uh, but again, we had the uh, senior champion, senior champion was the uh, beautiful Miss V8 805 over 8. This is going to be a V8 380 over 6 daughter out of Miss V8 775 over 7. Bred by the breeder owner, Brandon and Rachel Cotrer. Of course, B.R. Cotrer is going to be um, the exhibitor, of course, no questions. And then we're getting ready to come back in with our grand champion drive grand champions are getting ready to come back in so we can kind of run back through here and talk about who we're going to have for grand champion we are going to have out of class number six out of six we're going to have the miss v8 274 over nine 274 over nine she was our calf champion, and she's going to be a V8 380 over 6 daughter. Um, and she is shown by V8 Ranch, and she is owned by Mrs. Jim Williams and bred by Mrs. Jim Williams, and she is out of JDH Lady Nova Manso. And then in that second uh, division, which is, of course, our intermediate division, we're going to have our good friend, Glenn Cox. Glenn Cox is showing for Razorback. This is Glenn right here showing for Razorback. We are glad to see him back in the arena. Um, for those of you who know Glenn's um, story, he is missing part of one leg. So um, Brandolin's right in front of my camera, but that's okay. There you go. Um, uh, so we're really glad to see Glenn. He doesn't always um, show a lot, but what he does show is great quality, of course, always. This is Miss V8 208 over 9. This is going to be a Mr. V8 933 over 7 daughter out of Miss V8 102. And this is going to be um, Razorback. And then we're going to have the two BR Cotrer entries going to that junior and senior division.
You're getting some tips here. I think he was getting some words of wisdom. What do you think? A grand champion. Grand champion is right there. Congratulations, BR Cotrere coming in for reserve consideration is the V8 Ranch entry. The judge is still down there, kind of. So we're going to stick right where we are. And there we go. It is going to be a B.R. Cotrere kind of day. So congratulations. Congratulations. And we are going to say congratulations to all of the uh, owners and breeders. And, of course, we just want to say thank you to all the people who supported us. And look right here. The future of Brahman is at B.R.C. B.R. Cotrere. We had the uh, grand champion, they had the grand and the reserve grand champion. Their grand champion was out of that oldest class. That was going to be Miss V8805 over 8. That's going to be a Mr. V8380 over 6 daughter out of Miss V8775 over 7. And of course, um, the reserve grand champion was out of that junior division. And Brandon was on the stick there for BR Couture. And that's going to be Miss V8117. We want to get a photo. We're going to run real quick, get a photo. Tell them not to leave. Okay, great. And so we're getting some photos in the arena. So again, congratulations. And again, we're going to run through these really quick and say thank you to all of our sponsors that helped us be here. Um, we had uh, the uh, Brahmin Selecto. That is going to have their third edition of their sale. They're going to be breeders from Mexico. They're having their online sale with us on bestcattlesales.com July 16 and 17. And we're going to say don't forget the J.D. Hudgens spring online sale at Cattle in Motion. That is on Cattle in Motion. And look at these heifers. Um, they are just gorgeous. And, of course, you can't go wrong when you have Hudgens offering five elite heifers. Five elite heifers will be offered in their sale. And uh, we're just going to tell you that you need to go visit Cattle in Motion for these five elite lots. This is J.D. Hudgens. Look at these beefy, beefy uh, females. They are top J.D. Hudgens sired females by Elmo, Messiah, Dover, Takana. So again, this is just a great offering. April 12th, April 13th, Cattle in Motion. We want to thank Chris Shivers for recommending the long and strong Blundstone. That is the cold and powerful bull from Australia. His semen can be sold around the world. So check with Chris Shivers about uh, semen purchase there. And congratulations to Schulte Cattle Company. They had a great show. They had some really good classes. And they have just beautiful cattle that we are super impressed by. So again, Schulte Cattle Company, thank you for being supportive of us. And make sure you visit uh, Best Cattle Sales. They're going to be having a sale with us in April. And then in April, they also have one of those heifers that will be available for sale in the Breeders Bonanza Spring Sale. So don't forget to look for that sale. That's going to be an actual live sale that you can go to. You visit with Chase of CF Productions, and he will tell you more. We want to thank V8 Ranch for all they do for us. Their 2019 V8 Ranch Bull of the Year was Mr. V8 933 over 7. That's the Yeti Bull. I think that Mr. V8 380 over 6 put some more notches in his belt today. He had uh, quite a few champions and quite a few class winners and really some great looking cattle. That is, um, we need to get that photo. Grab it. Don't go anywhere. Tell him not to go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. There you go. Okay, and that is the number one sire of U.S. champions from 2011 to 2018. So, um, did you get it? Huh? 
Uh, and so we just want to say thank you to VA Ranch for all that you guys do to support us. And then, of course, uh, Mr. VA 146 over 8. Remember, that was the bull that was three-time winner. V8 Ranch is one family, one herd, one passion. We want to say thank you to Chance Hinton, our good friend Chance Hinton. I heard that Snowman passed away and Chance showed Snowman. Um, Dias Farm still has some semen on him, but Chance did a tremendous job with Snowman Bull and we really loved that bull. And so you guys will remember Chance from those days and also Chase and Fitzpatrick. Um, they have Hinton cosmetic deforming and Fitzpatrick cattle services so make sure you visit with them and they will be more than happy to talk to you about their um, whole package that they're offering and I have some people here that want to visit with me so we're gonna let you watch that video of those Hudgens heifers once again Mientras se mantiene la pantalla en gris, queremos agradecer a todas las personas que nos vieron, que hablan español. Estuvimos transmitiendo, transmitiendo todo el día en el evento internacional que esta vez se llevó a cabo en Huaco, Texas. Ok, I was just visiting with my friends from Mexico and we're going to um, talk about um, while we watch this video again from Hudgens. But um, Hudgens is having that sale, but we were just visiting with our friends from Mexico. And the Brahma show will be 25-26, the judging. The judging in Tampico. We will have more information for you guys. And we will make sure that you know all about this awesome, turn it off first. Turn it off at the power. Hold the power button. There you go. Um, anyway, there you go. Um, so the uh, Mexico show, it may be the national, we don't know, but it'll be a Brahmin show. We will be there in Tampico, 25, 26, judging Brahmin cattle. It's a little longer show, so you can come early, you can go watch the cattle, but we'll talk more about it later this week. So yay, thank you guys for visiting, and thank you for letting us know about the show. Pardon? Yes, and we will see you tomorrow. Bulls start at 10. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Okay. okay, perfect. Thanks, everybody. Okay, we're going to continue on. We were kind of talking about some of these people that sponsored us and just thanking them. Of course, we have 4N Ranch that we would like to thank. Um, that's the Nettle family. They do a great job in their program, and they're going to have a sale with IS Ranch. So two brands, unlimited possibilities, the IS and 4N online sale that will be held on Best Cattle Sales. The uh, cattle are already up online. You can go see them. We're going to have videos soon. But if you are here at the international sale, I mean at the international show, you can go see them. Again, we want to thank Elgin Breeding Service. We're going to have Hillary come visit with us tomorrow, I believe, between the two bull shows. And uh, Elgin Breeding Service, they were the uh, ABBA 
sponsor of the year so congratulations to them they do a lot for the brahmin breed we really want to thank them they have a family tradition of quality since 1954 and of course br Catrer again they had just a tremendous day today they were grand champion and reserve grand champion gray female thank you to genetic costa rica genetic costa rica for all you do to have us here you always sponsor us and we really appreciate that genetic costa rica you'll be able to pick up brahmin journals there from what i understand they have semen and embryos distribution in costa rica and that's going to be bullseye ranch v8 jd hudgens santa elena and br Catrer. you can um, visit with them and genetic costa rica and find out about what you can buy from them and also i bet you go pick up a few brahmin journals and again st genetics their third annual spring sale they are going to be online at best cattle sales and you just need to go to bestcattlesales.com we have a lot of sales coming up so thank you guys and we will be back we will have a pre-game show a little bit of a pre-game show talking about some of the cattle that we saw today um, and some of the cattle we're going to see tomorrow. So uh, be planning on visiting with us a little bit before the show starts, and that is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We will see you guys tomorrow, and thanks again, and big uh, shout-out congrats to everyone. You guys had a great show, and uh, to B.R. Catrer, thank you very much for being supportive of us and we hope that um, everyone has safe travels and a great time uh, getting home and again thank you guys for being with us at the ABBA International Show.